Hey guys, this is Ricardo once again on the Watch With Us channel and in for review today we have this wonderful piece from the brand Hanhart. Now this piece is called their Pioneer Mono Control. It's a mono pusher chronograph, but before we delve into the specs, just to give you guys a little bit of history on Hanhart, Company was founded in 1882, as you see right underneath the name of the company on the dial, representing, of course, the year the company was founded. They were actually founded in Switzerland, but then in 1902, they moved to Germany. One of the biggest actual momentous occasions for the brand was the fact that in 1938, they created the Caliber 40, which for them was the first mono pusher movement that they created. And the brand has kind of become synonymous with mono pushers, and that's actually what we have here. Mono pusher, meaning that the pusher there, right above two, controls both your start, your stop, and of course your reset function. So now that we've given you a little bit of history on the brand, let's delve into the specs. Okay guys, now on to the specs for the watch. Now on your dial, you'll see you have a 60 second counter there at nine. You have a 30 minute counter at the three o'clock position and that of course is counting your chronograph minutes chronograph functions are right here above two you'll have this pusher controls your start your stop and your reset functions for the chronograph at six you have the date on the dial watch comes with a friction bezel that's bi-directional with a little bit of red paint right there at 12. In terms of dimensions, you have a 42 millimeter case with a 51 millimeter lug to lug. Your lug width is 21 millimeters, a perfect half for your 42 millimeter width. In terms of Thickness, you come in at 15 millimeters. Here's a view of your case back, which shows that the watch also comes with 100 meters of water resistance. The watch comes on this beautiful brown strap. I've been wearing it while I've had it on this brown strap and also on this rubber strap right here from Barton Bands. If you look at the dial a little closer, you'll see right there, the 30 minute counter is actually tipped in red. If you look at the hands, you'll see that there's a, right at the end of the hands, there's a slight dip in terms of the hand, the end of the hand. So you'll see it right here on the minute hand. And what you'll also see, you'll see it here on the seconds hand as well. Here's that case back again. Let's show you some of those chronograph features. Start, you'll see your chronograph start to move stop reset going back to the hands you see that the watch comes with these beautiful cathedral hands i know not everyone is a fan of cathedral hands but i find them to look actually quite nice on any type of fleeger watches i think they just go along well with that aesthetic going to the crown You'll see that it's signed with the small H for the brand. 
Inside, you have a ETA 7750 based movement, which actually comes with a La Jouperette module on top of it, which allows the movement to become a mono pusher. But interesting detail is you'll see that one, the sub dials are towards and closer to the edge of the dial. So you don't get that small movement, big dial syndrome that you see sometimes on watches that are just using a 7750. Another cool thing is on a lot of your chronographs, you'll see that your pushers tend to be at two and four. But here you see that in doing the work they did on the movement, the pushers actually moved past two o'clock. And that little change requires a lot of extra work. But one of the benefits of that is, one, you're able to get this big crown and there's never really a chance of you pressing this pusher by accident since it's located so far away from the crown. And that pretty much covers your specs. So with that being said, let's jump into my personal thoughts on the watch. I've had the Pioneer Mono Control for about two weeks now, and I have to say, in terms of just what you get, in terms of the package, um, the overall Flieger aesthetic, it's really hard to find a watch at this price point with this aesthetic, um, with this good of a quality, and with a brand that has a lot of history to it, especially when it comes to mono pushers and chronographs. Um, it's just a great package. Um, there are a few things I wish uh, they could have done with this watch. Um, I would have liked to have seen a display case back showing that beautiful um, mono pusher movement. However, I understand with that overall tool pilot watch aesthetic, um, you know, the solid case back actually goes pretty well. I'm not a big fan of the friction bezel, but once again, it's a, one of those situations where I'm thinking about it, and if it wasn't there, I can't think of anything else that would work as well. So it's just one of those things that I'm looking at and I'm just saying, oh, I don't like it, but what do you replace it with? Um, when you start to think of it that way, it actually goes pretty well with the watch. Um, and I have to say over the time, over the two weeks I've had it, I, I've actually grown to like it. Um, before I continue, let me toss this on the wrist so you guys see exactly what this looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Speaking of which, yes, there is, now that I'm putting it on, I'm reminded, I do wish that the strap was just a little bit longer as you can see here with the keepers, um, I'm barely there on the first one. I, I would have wished, I mean, for brands, I just think they need to think that, you know, it'd rather the strap be a little bit longer and there are a few more holes so it works for more individuals instead of it being shorter and you get this on a big wristed individual like myself. But overall, this is what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's actually quite comfortable. Um, I, I've worn this, um, I'd say about four or five times since I've got it. And I, I was worried about the size. I thought, you know, it's 15 millimeters thick. You hear that so often and you just think, oh, that's too thick. But then you wear it and the fit is just amazing. Um, it, the fact that it's 42 millimeters truly helps with this watch. It allows the watch to sit really well on the wrist. A little bit more for you guys. But I have to say, you know, I've, I've spent about two weeks with the watch. Um, I've compared it to other watches um, in that price range, giving us that, you know, mono pusher uh, control in terms of a chronograph. And there's really not much out there that is this good for this price. Um, and I keep on mentioning price. Uh, Got to get to that for you guys. 
price on this is actually two thousand six hundred and thirty dollars um, i believe for that price the package you're getting here is really amazing um, i've looked around i've looked on the internet almost every individual i've seen who's purchased this watch i can't find one person who's regretted purchasing this watch um, it's just that good the quality is there the finishing is there you have your nice brushing on the sides you have polished this fine line of polishing right here below the fluted bezel um, you got the nice little polishing on the crown I mean just as an overall package look at that dial just as an overall package I, I it can't be beat you get AR coating on this as well see a little bit of that blue um, but it's just overall packaging it's it's amazing um, I think if you have an opportunity to pick up this watch if you're looking for that Mona pusher pilot style watch I think it's really hard to go wrong with this watch uh, if you have an opportunity um, to, to at least check this watch in the wild, I highly suggest that you do. Um, I think the watch is just that good. Um, but guys, that is my review of the watch. If you have any questions, drop them off in the comments. Um, if you have experienced the watch and you have your own opinions, you know, drop them in the comments as well. We may disagree. Um, but I, right now, I'm sticking to my guns. I think for this price, this is an amazing Mono Pusher chronograph. And I think it's really hard to beat. It's a great watch. If you're looking, if this is what you're looking for, i I definitely pointing you in this direction. Um, but I hope overall, guys, you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you next time with my next review on the channel. Bye, guys.